delegates will be Mark Carroll. Well, thank you very much for an active, engaging dialogue and questions tonight. And you should be proud of yourselves, and you should be excited for the future of Alberta. I hope you are. Now, we need to, and I include myself because I will be voting too, but especially you need to look deep as you make this leadership decision because we have had too many poor leaders picked across Canada in the last few years. We need to look at the lessons of how did the Liberals end up with a Stefan Dion? <laughs> they deserved it, but I hope you don't think you deserve that. How did we end up with an Ed Stellman? Yeah, these, are, these aren't funny. <laughs> And so you are actually on the board that is picking and interviewing us. And I ask that you dig deep. Look at the experience brought to the table. Look at who has been there as a volunteer working across many campaigns for conservatism for many years. Look at who knows how to run the back room of a campaign, the front room. Look who brings business experience that people outside of Alberta that are looking to invest money will go, do you know what? We used to think we could only invest in Saskatchewan, but Alberta is open for business again. <laughs> now, when I travel across the province, there's a few things that are interesting. The PCs have played the politics of division too long. They've used Edmonton against Calgary, rural against urban, north against south. And I will tell you, as someone that's grown up in rural and urban, who's lived in both, I understand the differences and respect both. And I've been politically active all the way out to the special areas of Oyen. I've been politically active to the downtown core of Calgary. And I have lobbied for health care reform in Edmonton, in Washington, D.C., and to the Federal Minister of Health. Now, we need to be held accountable for what we have done and said in the past. And on most of the fiscal issues, we will agree. On other issues, we will differ. But if you believe in alternative health care and some changes in that system, you should know that when I ran the government relations program for chiropractic in this province, that Daniel Smith at the time in the Herald wrote the most negative articles that I'd ever heard on a chiropractic. And you should just know that stance. Now, on the rest, do you know what? That is something that people have said and done, and you need to judge me on my stance. And that's the only digging I'm going to throw out there to you today. On the rest, we need to look at who can train across the province the people we need. We need to look at who has those resources to bring our campaign team up and together. I want to give some thank yous, though, in closing. That we are standing on the shoulder of giants in the Reform Party for the work we did. And we need to step up on that. And I want to thank Myron Thompson, who has recently endorsed me, because he knows I will work hard for the cause. And what that cause is, how we win the next election, is we sell Albertans something they've already bought. And that is those core democratic principles that we fought for under reform and voted for. And that is to shrink the bureaucracy and shrink it in the areas that it doesn't hinder us where we receive things. And so my challenge to you is don't be comfortable. Because you know what? Yes, I got a little bit of uncomfortableness out of you there with one thing. But at the end, if we had truly looked at Ed Stelmap, we would have made a different choice. The liberals know they would have made a different choice if they dug deep. And so guess what? In business, when I've had to hire people, when we dig deep, we get the best person. And that is my challenge for you. Please 
This is a vision that Albertans need, love, and now is the time. And I'd ask for your support as leader of the Bob Rose Alliance Party. Thank you.